Okay, third time's a charm. <laughs> well, hopefully this one's going to work right. So, Dynamesh is under this Geometry tab. Uh, Dynamesh and then the Resolution is right below that. And uh, typically what I'll do is start around 128. It's usually set really high, but you really don't have to set it that high. Um, I'll keep it around 128. 256 is the highest I'll usually go, and I always work in increments of 16 for some reason like that. Uh, so the next one that I'll go down to, I usually go between 128 and 64. And so if I'm sculpting in, you know, some big bit of detail, uh, then I'll, I'll be at 128 and I'll sculpt some big, you know, landmark type structure in there and I'll get something really gnarly looking and then if I like that then I'll you know I may keep working at this but if it starts to get lumpy then I'll take it down to 64 and re, you know and then just kinda keep sculpting back up turn project on though this button right here because if you don't you see how smooth it gets but if you turn project on tries to reproject the detail you've sculpted back onto the lower resolution mesh and that will that will it'll be smoother less lumpy but it will have <clears throat> it'll have a lot of your detail in it as you go and and re-sculpt and another thing to note is that with Dynamesh uh, when you're uh, playing with these resolutions you have to you have to make a change to the model before it'll work again so let's say you, um, so we were at 128 right here, and then we switched it to 64, and it it worked. Now let's say you go, oh, I didn't like that. I want to go to 32. So you switch 32, and you do it. See, nothing happened to the mesh, and that's because you didn't make a change to the geometry, which is kind of goofy, but that's how. Uh, Dynamesh works. So you have to go in and make a little adjustment to the mesh and then it'll work. So let's try that again. We reproject to 64, we get this, we change this to 32, nothing happens. But if I like just barely tweak it, now it'll work. So that's another goofy, that's a goofy thing about Dynamesh. Uh, that I don't really care for, but it's just part of working with Dynamesh. But that workflow works really well for me when I'm trying to go in and block in big shapes and then cut them back. I'll either I'll, I'll just do that real freely with my sculpting tools because I know that I can just reproject at a lower resolution and knock out all the lumpiness and all the awkwardness and then rebuild on top of it. So I hope, hope this helps, and uh, keep on sculpting, and then if you have any more questions, just message me.